don't bike to school. Listen, I know climate change is a big crisis at the moment, but biking is not the solution. I am so tired. I tried to film this video yesterday, but then my family came home and it got shut off. It really sucks. I looked actually really cool that day. I picked out my outfit, my makeup was all snazzy, and today I kind of look just homeless. Issa's Declassified High School Survival Guide. Or at least some things that might sort of come in helpful at some point. There's nothing like the beginning of a new school year. You buy enough supplies to trick yourself into thinking, this, this will be the year that I do it all. And this is the guide that will help you do it all. Let's start off simply hair ties. Or you could call them scrunchies if you're one of those edgy teens that was supposed to be born in the 90s and you need to complete your sadboy.jpg aesthetic. Hair ties are great and very essential but you need to take care of them because by the end of the week you'll probably have lost them all. Secondly, you're gonna need water. This is pretty self-explanatory. Obviously it's a basic human need and I don't know about you but I'd rather avoid dropping dead in the middle of a classroom. You know what? Never mind. I take that back. You'd actually end up getting out of group work that way. Next is something I like to call happy notes and yes, it's every bit as cheesy as it sounds. You know, it's one of those random little acts of kindness type deals. You write cute little messages on paper notes for your friends to find to lighten their day. Examples could include as follows. You're very nice to talk to when you're not the one talking. If I ever feel bad about myself, I just think of you and by comparison, I feel much better. You always make it so easy to copy off of you during tests. Just cute little things like that, you know? Number three, gum. Honestly, it's the easiest way to force people into being your friends. Don't listen to the police. Bribery is a good thing. Just haggle your way to a new friendship. I currently don't have any to show you because mine are all gone. And if that isn't a good testimonial, I don't know what is. But did you get any friends from it? Let's move on. If gum doesn't work, just bring a cat to school. There's no way anyone can resist you at that point. And if they don't like cats, then do you really want them as a friend anyway? I mean, if all else fails, you can just end up being friends with your cat. One six. Scissors. Scissors. Where are my scissors? This is just a basic school supply, you know, in case anyone tries to test you. And I don't mean when teachers give you a test. I mean when people try to test you. And you could use it for cutting paper as well, I guess. Number seven, sunglasses. This is just, this is just great. You're having a conversation with someone, just doing your thing, conversing, conversating, conversationing, conversation When you get bored of what they're saying, just put them right on. Works like bug repellent. Bye. I'm done. You're done. Stop. Alternatively, with these on, you can easily sleep in class. And if you're not into sunglasses, beanies, man. Beanies. You should pull it down over your eyes and block everything out. And you know what? Just to make things even more comfortable, bring a pillow. I mean, I think there's a reason they're able to perfectly in your bag. See? Fits perfectly. I mean, there won't be any room for your books, but if you're sleeping in class, you won't need them anyway. And finally, this is one that a lot of people tend to forget, but just bring some fake blood. Trust me, it's a lifesaver. Oh, sorry, is it, is, it, is it my turn to do the presentation? We'll just put some of this all over you and you'll get sent straight to the hospital. How great is that? Wow, I just, I feel really good about this. I think this video, I think it had some helpful tips. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Optimum edgy teen homeless aesthetic.